All right. Um, the disadvantage of saying the truth. Is it the disadvantage of saying the truth? We'll call it. Yeah. It's, it's the disadvantage of saying the truth. Since Abel, that means I start to preach for a church and to the country at large. That tight. He's not a sin. They are not paying tithe, it's not easy. You know, they don't mind now. Pastors will tell their members, say, if you don't pay tithe, your life will be tight. If you pay tithe, God will rebuke the devourer for your sake. You know, the God gives a kind of situation, God will shake you. You now, but you don't collect your salary, you don't want to make the devourer come for you, you will pay tithe. Amen. That means as you start to preach, saying a lie, no devourer is coming. Your life will not be tight. The church members don't stop to pay tithe. <laughs> Offering not the reduce. But my mother, they complain. He know they want them. He said, so because I tell you people that your life will no longer be tight. You people have stopped being tight. You're not even dropping proper offering anymore. Watch this. When I stopped preaching the other gospel in this church, most of you were here. And I began to preach Christ and I began to say, tithing is not New Testament, all of that. You know, everyone that was in this church stopped paying tithes wow. and naturally stopped giving. Yeah, all of you here. You stopped giving. You started dropping flimsy change wow. change from kekena pep hey. you just drop it so now i'm not putting it on you but at the same time i'm rebuking you and the rebuke is for those who are still dropping change money because there's no tithe so it means in the first place you were never giving to god you were giving to yourself because exactly. the reason why you were giving is so that devourers will not come That's so it true. was for self-preservation it was exactly. not because you loved god because if it was god you were giving to and you discover that there's no problem that will happen you will still be giving but you yes. gave because you were in fear if you don't tight it will be tight if you don't tight Satan will come, devourers will come. So, because of that, you are religiously bringing tithes, religiously. It's not just a don't touch it, don't touch it, I don't want trouble. So, you were faithful. When I now say, No, trouble will not come, God is not a monster, yeah, He's not New Testament, all that. I was, okay, no problem. So, now we can give God anyhow we like. Imagine. So, He started dropping because you, yeah, you were imagine. never a generous person, number one. Number two, you were never in love with the purpose of God. You are only in love with your selfishness. And if you are still giving like that, I put it to your face. You see, I have been saying this thing for a while. The reason why people go to church is not because they love God. Not everybody is. Some people go to church for genuine love. But a lot of them are the reason why they go to church not because they love God. It's because you get problem when you need God to solve. That's why many of you are paying that you want to bribe God. The reason why many of you give to your pastors is not because you love him. It's because you believe in him, God, a year pass. So you just want to push some money to give us so that for a prayer point, your name will be fraud. You want to bribe your way into the blessings of God. Nigeria, so that life, right? Free and corruption. <laughs> ah! Hey man, I mean, I don't go talk the one way shoot up a leg. They're not going to really jump off again. You see, the church needs money to move. The church cannot function without money. Even among their early Christians, the apostles of Jesus, people who are bringing money, they need to raise funds. We go on generator now, we go change sound. Church go parents, they go buy land. Some people need help, so the church needs money. So we are supposed to give in church. But what we're not supposed to do is to be casual to drop our money. Nobody should threaten you that if you don't drop your money, your life will tight. Nobody should lie to you that your first fruit is for God. You are not even giving that money to God. You are giving it to a church. And when you give it, don't excess part of God by a range over. And you see, when you don't buy the first one, you need to buy the second one. You need to stay duplex. You need to use better furnishing. So it needs more. So little by little, you start preaching more about prosperity and how God will bless you and how you need to sow. So make no mistakes about it. We're not saying don't give in church. The church needs money. But don't be deceived and blackmailed to give. Not for Mugu. So none of them are going to go ahead in the church. The church still need money. Then they run this every Sunday. But what he's just telling you is that that gospel of your life will be tight is a lie. But he doesn't regret 
I wish you never leave when I forget the turn and say, your life will be tight if you don't pay it tight. More than I draw better off. You know they see you suit. suits. You need to buy me one and then you need to jack clean up. But it's totally correct in this video. You are not giving to God because you love God. You are giving to God because you want to bribe God. And you think the more you give, the more your bribery will be accepted. But God does not work that way. God not be the last man, not be Nigeria police.